Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm black. And I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And I have a very fun video in store for you guys. We are trying out a brand that is new to me, but it's not too new to the scene. This is a Mikale. They recently launched at Sephora. It popped up on my Sephora app and I was like, what is that? Let me try it out. Come to find out it's a black owned brand. So I was like, I am rooting for anyone black. So I am grabbing these products and testing them out. And look how fun the packaging is. So if you're interested in hearing all about this brand that launched in May 2021, then stay tuned and let's jump right into it. So the founder of this brand is Jara Jai and she is a native of Harlem, New York. And she founded this brand after being embedded in the beauty space for a few years and realizing that, hmm, beauty brands don't really cater to melanin rich skin. And she wanted to change that. So she created her own brand in May 2021, kind of spurred by the pandemic and the BLM movement. More brands were now open to working with black creatives. They saw that void in the community and they were being called out. So now they're stepping up to the plate and working now with more black creators and black founders to fund cosmetics and makeup brands that are black owned. So Jada got her start in the beauty space after going to school and studying to become a pediatrician and realizing that that's not where her passion lies given her self-described hatred of blood. So she branched out and started working with the likes of Temp2, L'Oreal, and Glossier. And she even had a stint as the social media director for Vibe magazine. So she is not new to the social media or beauty space. She has worked with these large beauty brands. So she has seen some of the ins and outs. And her childhood was also surrounded by beauty beauty in her mom's hair salon in Harlem, which is still alive and well. She remembers being around her mom and aunts who are from Senegal and seeing the beauty in melanin rich skin. And one thing she said that resonated with me is that she was never insecure about her melanin deep rich skin because her father always instilled in her that her skin is beautiful and it's so rare to have that deep rich ebony skin that she should embrace it so she never felt that insecurity but working in the beauty space she saw that there was a void and she realized that there weren't a lot of opportunities for melanin rich beauties to really make waves in the beauty community and she decided she's gonna change that she's gonna be a part of that change so she went ahead and started her own melanin focused brand Amicale which is inspired by and named after her mother which is such a touching story I am so in love with the ethos and the origin of this brand already so I am excited to try out these products and the brand originally launched with only three products including a skin tint a highlighter balm and a tinted lip oil in a single shade but the brand's portfolio has since expanded to include concealer powder a brow gel and brow pencil as well as a couple of makeup brushes and even accessories accessories including a bucket hat and incense paper. So if you want to check out all the products, visit her website directly since not all the products are available on the Sephora website. And you can also get bundled deals, which gives you a discount if you purchase multiple products together. Now, in addition to this brand being centered around melanin rich skin, it's also touted as a clean beauty brand. And before you get started on saying that clean beauty is a hoax, I know, okay, clean beauty Beauty doesn't have a great reputation here in the beauty space but to be fair there are some chemicals that are being used in various formulations that are toxic and we found that a lot of these ingredients are used in products that are geared towards melanin rich skin 
Hello, hair relaxers. So Amicole's philosophy is to exclude certain ingredients that may be harmful to the body, especially the endocrine system. And I personally don't see an issue with that. And I can embrace brands that are trying to do better. In addition to being a clean beauty brand, all the products are vegan and cruelty free and are recommended for all skin types, combination, dry, oily skin. And I personally have oily skin, so I can't wait to try these products out and give you my feedback. Let's quickly look at the packaging, which is stunning. Look how bright and bold this is. I love this color, especially on melanin rich skin, and I can't help but think that this was deliberate. Orange on dark skin, chef's kiss, amazing. So this packaging is stunning, it's eye-catching, and I love it. It's a clean, beautiful, elegant aesthetic with a punch of color. So I'm absolutely in love with the overall look of the brand and with the packaging they're also trying to be a little bit more eco-conscious by using less plastic and using materials that are either recyclable reusable or biodegradable so again another great thing to see from a newer brand i also appreciate the price point of these products the prices range from 19 dollars to 32 dollars for the individual products but like i mentioned you can pop over to the website and get discounted deals if you buy these products in a bundle and i think the price point range is quite accessible when you consider it up against other mid-range brands in the market and in sephora these prices are 19 20 22 dollars for the majority of the products with the skin tint being the priciest at 32 dollars but even that price point doesn't compare to like 42 and 45 dollars for a foundation from other brands that we see in sephora so i think overall the approach of this brand and their ethos is well done and it's so refreshing to see a newer brand on the market that is made by us for us in a store that often carries brands that don't cater to melanin rich skin there's so many brands in sephora that exclude deep rich skin and for sure we have fenty and we also have fashion fair but now to see a brand at this price point that has these products that are geared towards melanin rich skin it's just it's giving me all the feels okay it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside so you know what i'm gonna shut up now after gushing about the brand so now we can go ahead and test out these products because i picked up a full face i picked up the skin tint the concealer the mascara the powders the lip oils so we're gonna test these out on my skin and i'm gonna give you my final thoughts at the end of the video so let's go ahead and jump right into it so let's start out with the first product. This is the Ultra Flex Brow Shape and Gel. It's available in a singular shade for now. This is clear. It retails for $20 and contains five milliliters of product or 0.18 ounce. It comes in a little tube like this and the brush is interesting. So it has longer bristles on one side and then shorter bristles on the other. And it's not a tiny brush at all, which I don't really like tiny brushes when it comes to brow gels. I like a sizable brush, you know, to get in there and get into my brow hairs. And on the box it says it's a clear conditioning brow gel that sculpts and sets brows in place for all day wear. The directions say using the long side of the brush first for fullness, brush brows into desired shape. Follow with the short side of the brush for extra hold and a more sculpted look. This is perfect for grooming curlier brow hairs, baby hairs, and flyaways. So let's go ahead and apply this to the brows. So using the longer side of the brush, I'm just going to sweep this through my brows. I already filled in my brows with my brow pencil and this gel doesn't feel very thin, but it doesn't feel very thick either. And the longer bristles are combing through my brows pretty well and placing them nicely. All right. And I'll use the shorter bristles to deposit more product and place my brow hairs. Now this doesn't feel like a stronghold so far. It's not like a really grippy brow gel, but it's seeming to hold the hairs in place. It doesn't look too shiny and so far no flaking. But again, we'll check in 
later in the video to see how it goes now there is also a skin tint which again is one of the key products in the line so this is the skin enhancing tint there are only six shades available and it retails for $32 and contains the usual one fluid ounce of product or 30 milliliters and we have shades starting at medium too. So the numbers are kind of screwy. You just have to read it that way. But the deepest shade is the first shade, which I appreciate. So I chose medium one, which is the second lightest shade. So we're gonna test it out on my skin. It comes in a squeeze tube packaging, very simple, very basic white with a black cap and it has an intended usage life of 12 months and is made in Italy. On the box it says a complexion enhancing skin tint designed to even out skin tone and impart a soft focus glow. It says apply to skin using a brush or clean fingers, use three dots for sheer glow and more for medium coverage. Either way, don't forget to blend. Now I'll tell you right now, this is a very fluid product. It's a very runny skin tint which I guess is kind of, ooh, that matched though. Uh-uh, come in here, come in here. Look at that, let me, let me get some more of the product because that skin tone match, look at this. What, oh my God. So this shade again is medium one and it says it's for medium skin with neutral or golden undertones. And that is exactly what I am and that matches so well. Uh, what? Already I am happy with that. Now it's a skin tint and it says it gives like a soft focus glow. I don't know how I feel about a glow, but we have powder. So let's go ahead and just apply this. It's what I would expect from a skin tint. It's very thin. It's very light. It's not a heavy coverage but they say you can build it up for more coverage. Now, I don't have serious hyperpigmentation issues, but I do have some discoloration. So I wanna see if this covers my skin enough to where I'm like, yeah, this is a happy skin tint. You know how you just want to even out your skin, but you don't necessarily want to pack on coverage and pack on product. You just want something that's gonna give you a light coverage that makes your skin look alive, but not weighted down. So I think that's what this product is for. Very lightweight, very light coverage, and it doesn't look greasy at all. My skin does look hydrated though, I will say that. You see, there's a little glow to it, but it doesn't look greasy at all. Okay now, hold on. Let me go in with some more of the product on my fingertips. I hate this. I really hate using my finger for things, but they say you can apply it with your fingertips. So I'm just gonna do that to see if that will build up the coverage a little bit more. Now, because it's so thin, it's really gliding on well. It does not feel thick at all. It doesn't feel greasy. You know that feeling you can get from some tinted moisturizers that just feel heavy? I would love if she did a sunscreen, a tinted sunscreen that felt like this, cause this feels nice. And it's definitely building up the coverage with my hands. Now this is not my preferred method of applying product, but I know some people like applying their complexion products with their hands. So get in there child. Mm -mm. It is definitely helping build up coverage and it is absorbing really nicely into my skin. Like I said, it doesn't feel greasy or heavy. That, mmm, I'm liking that actually. Okay, and it's blending out really well and the skin tone match, like I said, is fantastic. Now this is definitely a sheer coverage. It is a light coverage for sure. And it did even out my complexion but it's not covering any hyperpigmentation. Like it's not blanking out my skin, but my skin looks so healthy. Uh, but good. That looks good, like look at this. Look at this, do you see that? It looks like I just applied moisturizer, which this is kind of a tinted moisturizer, so I like that. But I do have some coverage, like, right? 
that looks good. I'm gonna wash my hands because I can't. Okay, I can't. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. My hands are clean. I am a hand washing fiend, okay? I'm not obsessive with it, but I don't like feeling things on my hands, okay? So I just had to get that off. So now we have the concealer. This is the Skin Enhancing Concealer. There are 12 shades available. It retails for $24, and it contains six milliliters of product or 0.20 fluid ounce. Whew, I am kind of intrigued by this concealer because I already swatched it and it seemed promising. Now this one's interesting because it's available in 12 shades versus the six that are available for the skin tint. I picked up shade medium 1.5. Maybe I made the wrong choice because this is very light, all right? So this is recommended for medium skin with golden undertones and I'm feeling like I should have gone with medium one, which is for medium skin with neutral or golden undertones. I will go ahead and add that to my cart and I'll follow up in another video for that, but we're gonna try this out for now, seeing how it goes. So I'll apply that under the eyes. I'm not gonna apply this anywhere else on the skin because obviously it's way too light. Let's read what it says here. So it says, a medium to full coverage multi-purpose concealer that glides on to cover blemishes or brighten with a radiant skin-like finish. That makes me a little bit nervous because again, the radiant but the skin tint. All right, let me do a quick time check for this because I didn't even realize that I didn't. 124, all right, so just keep that in mind. So like I said, it's a radiant finish. That makes me nervous, but the skin tint, I didn't set it and it feels like it's set down and it doesn't look greasy at all. So if I really like this concealer, I can see myself picking up another shade in that medium too, like I said. Let me just blend that out. Okay, it blended out really well. Okay, this is a BK Beauty 109 brush. I've been using this brush. I I have backups, all right? So I like, yeah, I have one, two, three of them. Where's my third one? Oh my God, well I have three of them, all right? They're really handy for doing precise work. You can apply concealer, blend it out. You can use it for contour products. I've just been enjoying these brushes. And they're now available as singles on the BK Beauty website, so it's like, Perfect, all right? Now, that concealer blended out really well, okay? I thought it was gonna be too stark and too light, but that blended out so well. Oh my God, let me put a little bit on my brow bone. I didn't put anything on my eyelids and there are no eyeshadows, but that looks so good. It's like a brightening, lifting concealer. Okay, okay. That is nice. Let me see, if I put it on, do you think it will look too crazy? Let me let me just do it on one side. If I put it on hyperpigmentation, or do I need the deeper shade? Or can it blend in? You know what, maybe I don't need a deeper shade. I'ma try the deeper shade anyway. Cause low key, that's nice. Like it blended out so well. Oh wow, okay. Like look, you see how it blends out? And it can brighten up my skin, I don't mind. Okay. That's not like, and I'm gonna set everything, all right? So don't don't worry if it looks a little harsh right now, but I like it. Y'all, I am so happy right now. Like, look at this. Under my eyes, like, it doesn't look like heavy coverage. It just looks healthy, all right? And it's not settling into lines and even around my mouth. Okay. All right now, and I also have the setting powder. So this is the Skin Melt Loose Setting Powder. It is talc free and it retails for $22. There are three shades available and being who I am, I picked up all shades. I have the translucent shade, which is for all skin tones. I also have deep medium, which is kind of like a banana powder. It has that golden yellow hue to it. This is for deep brown and medium skin tones. And then of course I got rich or deep, which is probably gonna be too deep for my skin, we'll see. But this is for rich to deep skin tones. So it's probably not for me, but we're gonna see, all right? So on the box for this, let's read what it says. It says this is a talc-free loose setting powder that instantly melts into skin to set makeup and bring down the shine but never the glow, zero flashback. Okay, 
and it just says to use it like any other loose setting powder tap it off you know all that good stuff and use it on targeted areas so I am interested you know what I was looking at I was looking at the ingredients and it has synthetic flora flagopi which is kind of a mica equivalent like a synthetic mica and it has silica, which is gonna be oil absorbing. Squalene, which is, excuse me, I'm into that. There's some fruit extracts, hibiscus flower extract. This sounds so good, okay? There's also glycerin, which is hydrating. It sounds good. This is made in Italy, has an intended usage life of 36 months, all right? Loose powder, usage life, 36 months. Let me look at the concealer. I didn't tell you about the concealer. This one is also made in Italy and has an intended usage life of 12 months. Okay, let's get into it. Shall we start out with the translucent? Let's see how this goes. So this has interesting packaging. It has a flap, so you lift it and then there's a sifter. You tear off the little tape and all that good stuff. I already did all that before and I feel like I should apply the translucent which looks very light let's see what that looks like on the back of my hand yeah it looks very light I am going to apply a bit of that under my eyes well under one eye let me use it just here to see how that plays okay all right and then I'll put a little bit all over my skin so she's saying no flashback it's setting ooh that looks so good so it's not even like a flat matte it looks kind of airbrushed oh my god so when you mattify your skin right it almost looks like you have added coverage because it's kind of blurring your skin but it's just mattifying right it's kind of blurring and giving you that flawless look that's translucent Okay, translucent is working out for me. It looks a little bit brightened, you know, it looks a little bit lighter on my skin, obviously. All right, let's try the banana powder, which is not really a banana powder, it's the medium deep. Looks like this, it's that yellow looking powder. And let's see what that one looks like. Yeah, definitely has more of a golden undertone, like a yellow vibe, you know, banana powder. And I'm going to tap that one on this side under my eyes to see what it does because that's usually where people apply their banana powder to brighten yeah that looks nice and it's not giving like a cast it's not showing that oh my god i'm so yellow that's working out all right last one is the deep one which i'm a little bit apprehensive about because it's a richer color obviously right and from what I'm experiencing so far it's not like they have a heavy color payoff right they kind of melt into the skin <gasps> that's exactly what it says it's skin melt I love that I am loving that let me use a larger brush just because I'm a little afraid of this color being too dark let me just tap it on this side really quickly Okay, it's a little bit deeper, right, than the translucent side. I'm gonna buff some on the translucent side. But it's not too dark for my skin. No, it's almost looking like my skin. It deepens up just a little bit, right? But not overly so. My like it, my like these things. Ami Kale, come here. My like it, my like it a lot. So this is another BK Beauty brush. This is the 105. I've been really loving their brushes. I mean, I've always loved their brushes, but I've just been really using a lot of their brushes. Or maybe I'm just more mindful now that I'm using so many of their brushes. But, wow, okay? <laughs> wow, that is nice. That is nice. Like, look, it's... It sets my skin. My skin looks blurred. It looks beautiful, but it doesn't look powdery. Do you see that? Do you see how good my skin looks? Translucent side, the dark side with banana. I feel like if you're my complexion, you could probably use any of these shades. And if you're deeper, go with the deeper shade, but I think you can use the banana one too, that medium shade under your eyes for brightening. But the translucent also works. I'm like, 
But if you're light skin, like go with the, the, the translucent, you know what I'm saying? Like leave this for the melanin, but girl, this is cute. She cute. Okay. We have uh, two more types of products to try. So I have the mascara. This is the lash amplifying volumizing and lengthening mascara. It retails for $19 and it contains 0.3 ounce of product or nine milliliters. It is available in one shade, which is rich black. And I am interested okay this has a beautiful conically shaped wand and it's natural fiber bristles and they're really tightly packed together and they're short so I'm thinking this is gonna really grab onto lashes and separate them but we'll see all right come on in let's go for it let me check the brows they don't feel crunchy they feel a little sticky though yeah it feels a little bit sticky. I mean, I'm not going around touching my brows throughout the day, but I kind of don't like that feeling. So brow gel, not getting the vote of confidence so far. I mean, it's holding things in place. It just feels weird. Which I mean, again, it's not like you're going around touching your brows. Let's do the lashes, all right? Just combing through with the mascara, which is all it says, wiggle from roof to tip there's nothing like special about how do you apply mascara or maybe there is you know how we take things for granted like i do something this way and i've always done it that way and i don't realize that someone else may not do it that way and they don't understand why i do it that way and i may not even understand why i'm doing it that way so what you do with mascara once okay you go at the base of your lash the root and you kind of sweep through to the tips and you kind of wiggle so you deposit the product and you're combing through the lashes at the shut your mouth look at these lashes Michaela Naguero who like what that's not even her name huh how you pronounce it mascara girl mascara gate what look at this it is definitely a rich black combing through the lashes is comfortable the bristles aren't spiky and pokey and it's just gliding through and it's depositing like a decent amount of product right and I didn't even re-dip like I'm literally just using the same dip that we use and just keep going through the <gasps> oh my god look how it's building y'all it's separating I'm not getting clumps Are you are you seeing are you seeing this? No Ardell Wispies here. Ardell who? <laughs> y'all, one coat, multiple coats, and y'all saw that in full action. I didn't jump cut nothing. Okay, jump cut who? You know what? Let me redip, and I'm a redip on camera so y'all can see. All right, wipe off the teep, and then let's go in to see if it happens on the other side so y'all can't call me fake okay i am not faking it i don't fake it for nobody y'all fake it y'all faking it i used to fake it when i was younger and i didn't know that i was fake i didn't know okay <laughs> y'all oh my god did you know did you know i didn't know as women how do you actually know that you're there you don't know until you actually get there then you're like oh that's what it was all this time i had no idea so, uh, yeah, it's the mascara we're talking about right now, but y'all look at this. She is, ooh, and it's not getting too dry where I can't layer, you know, like keep building it. And it's not clumping, like, forget y'all, forget y'all right now. Let me do a little bottom lash action as well. Sh shut up, shut up. Shut up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is it? Mm. This mascara though. Length, volume, intensity. We're getting it. That is so pretty. Oh my god. I'm so in love. All right. All right. Last product are the tinted lip oils. So these are the lip treatment oils. There are four shades available from a clear to like a dark brown with a pink and then a raspberry kind of clear shade included. 
fantastic. They retail for $20, not too pricey. They contain 0.15 ounce of product or 4.5 milliliters. And I picked up all four shades because you know me, if I try something and I like it, I'm gonna pick up all the shades, okay? That's just how I am. And I love a lip oil. So let's apply. Let me zoom back in. Let's just apply the Claire one first so you can see what it looks like. Now it doesn't feel like a runny, like really oily lip oil. This feels like a lip gloss. It feels like one of those thinner lip glosses. Not thin, like it doesn't have substance, but in that it's not goopy or thick and just feels sticky. Really comfortable. Slides around. Look at the glow. Mm. And they're nourishing ingredients in this formulation as well. So that's what makes it a treatment lip oil. So there are various different oils in here and hydrating ingredients. It does contain fragrance. It smells, I don't know what that smell is. It's like, is it fruity? I don't know. It just, it smells nice. <laughs> it's a slightly sweet fragrance, but it's not like a strong, overwhelming fragrance. It's not vanilla, but that's the clear. Let's grab the other ones. So the clear one was Reflection, and now I'm going in with this shade, which is a subtle light pink. This is Bliss. This is so cute. It gives a little hint of color to the lips. I have darker lips, so this looks really excellent. Like... This is a glazed lip, okay? Mmm, sexy. All right, next. This one is the newest shade. It's smitten. It's a bright pink, but it's like a clear gloss. Mmm, that is so pretty. So this one has more color to it, right? But it's still like a clear base. So if you were looking for one with a little bit of an oomph, Yes, yes, that's nice. All right, the signature shade is next. This one is Excellence. It doesn't have a shade name on the bottom because like I said, this was like the original shade and there was only one available. So here you have Excellence, which I absolutely love it. It has a clear base as well with just a hint of brown. This is excellent. I'm gonna keep this one on, all right? It really is Excellence, okay? Excellent, yes. All right guys, so here is, ouch. <laughs> Just hit my knee. That's great, good times. <laughs> okay, zen, zen. Here is the final look guys, and I am so in love. Let's do a time check. So it is currently 2.23. So one hour of wear so far with this skin tint. And let me come in so you can see. I didn't touch up, I didn't blot, I didn't do nothing, okay? We did powder though, but my skin looks amazing. Shut your face right now. Everything, everything is looking great. <sighs> All right, let's start from the top. So the brow gel is probably the only thing that is questionable so far. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't think it's doing anything special, but if you were in the market for a new brow gel, like it's holding my brow hairs in place. It's not stiff. It does feel a little sticky. It doesn't dry down completely, so it feels like it has almost like moisturizing ingredients to it, but it definitely is holding them in place. It's not shiny and it's not flaky, so not in love with it, but it's not bad at all. The mascara, I'm in love, okay? Let me feel, ooh. Okay, I'm in love with this mascara. It looks amazing, like the length and volume that I was able to get, and it's richly black, which I love. It worked great on both the upper and lower lashes. It layers up well, okay? I was able to build up the volume, build up the product without this product clumping. It didn't dry down too fast, and right now my lashes still feel soft and pliable. That is exciting for me. There's no flaking so far, so I really appreciate that. Now let's talk skin. My skin looks and feels amazing right now, and the skin tint, first of all, perfect shade match. I was able to get a perfect match 
with only six options available and that to me is just like excuse me all right mind you though i was the second lightest shade so if you're pale if you're much lighter than me sorry this is for melanin rich skin so you're just gonna have to deal but oh my god the undertone is spot on it's not too neutral it's not too warm there's no red it just works really well on my skin it feels lightweight and comfortable it's not tight right now my skin feels comfortable my skin feels hydrated but I don't look glowy or greasy or dewy like this just looks like healthy skin mind you though I did set with powder but even before I set it down it almost like absorbed and became one with my skin and this looks fantastic this looks so good now the coverage is a light coverage so don't expect to blank out your skin but if you have pretty decent skin and you're just looking to even out your complexion i think this is gonna be perfect for you if you can find your shade which is the only thing that i'm a bit apprehensive about since there are only six shades but it's also a skin tint, it's lightweight, so a single shade is gonna work for a range of skin tones. So if you can check this out in store, I would say go ahead. But if you use me as a skin tone match, then medium one is our perfect shade. Now the concealer. I thought for sure this was gonna be too light, but this looks amazing, okay? I was so astonished with how it blended out. It blended out so well. It says medium to full coverage, but it doesn't like blank out my skin. It doesn't look heavy duty, but it's definitely a solid medium. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's full, but it did definitely cover like my under eye circles without making it look too fake because I can still kind of see a little bit of shading coming through, but it definitely improved how it looked and it doesn't look too makeup-y like. My skin doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup and that is fantastic for me. And I did go ahead and order the deeper shade, which I think is gonna be a perfect match. I can't wait to try that out with you guys. But this one still worked out pretty well and it will work perfectly as a brightening concealer. So I am happy to pick up the second shade of this. And then the lip oils, oh my god. I love these, okay? I love a proper lip oil, I love a proper lip gloss that's more lightweight, and this is kind of a hybrid of that, right? So it's like a lip oil, lip gloss combo that gives you the gloss and sheen of a lip gloss, and it is a thicker consistency than a treatment lip oil, but it's giving you the moisturizing and hydrating properties of a lip oil. And I've worn these lip oils, this was the first thing I purchased from them. I saw it pop up and I was like, let me try it out before I try anything else out. And I'm so happy with this that I had to get all the shades. It's so comfortable, it's not sticky, feels really good on the lips. And again, I have worn these numerous times so I know they're very comfortable and it leaves your lips feeling very hydrated. The powders. Who, what, what, how you do this, hey? <laughs> how did y'all do this? These powders, are so good my skin when I tell you my skin look I'm gonna come up again so you could see okay <laughs> like are you guys understanding I don't think you're understanding okay Jada hit it out the park with this okay this formulation I don't know what you put in here you probably put your foot in there and I am loving it come put your foot on me because <laughs> I'm loving this and all three of these shades worked great price point too like okay the translucent is on this side it doesn't look stark it doesn't look harsh and no flashback I am on board the banana powder can give a brightening lifting effect and it doesn't look too yellow which is something that I've found with other banana powders that I've tried and they're not stating that it's a banana powder per se I'm just going off the color but other banana powders on the market just look too yellow, too harsh, just no, okay? This just melted into my skin. It matches up with the name completely. Like, come on, skin melt loose powder, that's so true. And then even the dark shade still worked really well on me, even though I'm on the lighter side of the spectrum when it comes to their shade range. It still worked perfectly on me, and it looks so good, like, it melted into the skin. It's given that mattified effect, but it's not dry or chalky. It does not look like I'm wearing powder. It just looks like my skin 
but better. And I am so in love. I'm so in love. So overall, I am rooting for this brand. Like I told you, I'm rooting for everybody black except for like the, you know, there's some sketchy ones, but I'm rooting for everybody black. And I can't wait to see what else this brand has in store. I am so excited to try out more products. There is that highlighting stick in the line that I don't want. It's called their Light Catching Highlighter Balm. I'll pop it up so you can see what it looks like. It says it's clear with golden light reflecting minerals. So it's like a balm. And I don't do highlighter balms because that just feels like it's gonna be too dewy for me. So I'm not interested in that. There's also a brow pencil that I didn't try out as well as three makeup brushes and a few accessories on the site. So there's a bucket hat that says melanin rich. I love that. And some makeup makeup bags so if you were interested in other products definitely check out the site and there are also bundled deals on the website so if you buy multiple products together you get a discount like there's a set with the skin tint the highlighter balm and the treatment oil for $60 and the retail value would be $84 we also have a kit with the skin tint a concealer the highlighter and a lip tint there's also like a full face set with the tint the concealer a powder and the three face brushes so there are tons of deals on the website that you can check out I will link it down below I definitely recommend going over to the website but so far I am in love and I can't wait again to see what else this brand comes out with blushes bronzers like let me know what's going on over there Mikole. let me know if you want to pick up any of the products i will also link them down below through the sephora website those links are gonna be affiliate links which means i will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links it doesn't change the sale price of the product it just gives me a kickback for you using my links so i really appreciate you guys using my links but if you're not comfortable with that just shop the way you normally shop no must no fuss i'm still happy you're here watching leave me a comment give me a thumbs up all that good stuff and you can also join the fancy fam so you can click over to my channel hit the join button it's a monthly fee and i consider it just like my friend jen loves as a tip jar where you just give me a little tip towards my channel because you enjoy my content. I also have super thanks activated on my channel, which is another way that you can give me a little bonus just for you checking out my content. And I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you should follow me along because we have tons of fun over there. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys.